Hey guys, today we are talking about boondocking in our new van, which is a Gretsch Terreno Ion. We love it. We sure do. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Actually, yesterday you it's were just amazing. saying like, oh, our crappy old... <laughs> <laughs> I did, just say a crappy old van, yeah. Yeah. Um, not that that one was that bad, but this one's just so much better yeah. for how we like to live, which is completely disconnected all the time and out in places like, like we're in right now. So... Maybe we'll cut to a little drone footage, show them where we're at. Sure, that's a good idea. <laughs> Um, so the yeah. last three nights we spent um, in BLM land, yes. which is? Bureau of Land Management area, so free camping basically. Um, it's just dispersed camping, you can park anywhere. Uh, we don't have the four-wheel drive version of the Torino, but we, we're out here in some sand. It's like it's some sandy. loose sand. It's super sandy. Like There's some sand. sections I wouldn't drive into, but I checked these out ahead of time. And I got to say, this thing is really doing well on it. We haven't even come close to thinking like we're getting stuck. Yeah. Um, not saying you should push it, but you can go Use off your road judgment. with this thing. You Use know? your judgment. Yeah, you really can. Don't. It, it's not a pavement princess. <laughs> We've heard that, okay? which actually was the funniest thing. It that cracked funny. me up when and I heard somebody funny. call it a but pavement like, princess. But like our pavement princess looks good on pavement and it also looks good in sand. There you go. Yeah. Also looks good in grass. It looks good <clears throat> everywhere. Yeah. So yeah, it's really cool to be able to just kind of come into these lands like this and these areas and camp, which is exactly like where we, uh, we like to stay. You know, we haven't had another camper next to us. No, all three, three nights. nights. Yeah. So the main thing we want to talk about is it's been three full days. So since we left our um, last, um, our last harvest day. or boondockers welcome. Yeah, it was a boondockers we welcome. Filled and dumped. Filled we up our water. Filled up our water, left there, and then uh, dumped the tank that morning. So it right. was early morning too. It was like 8 a.m. So, First thing. Yeah. yeah. It's been totally so it's three been full days. three full days plus a little bit this morning. And our fresh water is at 60%. Gray is 38, and our black is only 44%. Gray tank, I would say for us, is like nothing we ever even think about either. Yeah, we and never come close to filling it. Never come close to filling it. Um, because we don't shower inside here. I think it's basically the same size as the fresh tank, right? It is. Yeah, yeah I think it's like... 27, as far 27, as I know. 27, yeah. 27 gallons. So we'd have to basically use all that fresh water into it, and we drink out of our tank. Right. We, we drink a lot of it, and we use it for cooking and stuff like that. So right. We're just never going to fill up that gray tank, even if we tried yeah. with the way we live. So that's not anything we ever think about. Um, the black tank and the fresh are the are ones the we have to think about. the two that we think about more. Right. And what we kind of noticed the past couple of days is we're in a much colder climate right now, which you want to talk about that? Oh, yeah. We're getting the heck out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> that's not even what I was thinking. Oh. I was thinking you want to talk about how great the heater's been and oh. it's been really cold. So it's been going down near 20 degrees Fahrenheit yes. every night. And so we've been able to run the heat. Well, we've had to, you know, run yeah. the heat overnight. Running the heater um, overnight with the which tank heaters we on. we didn't know how that would go for the gas because the heat goes on the gas. Well, it runs, runs off, off the diesel the tank or electric, but it it's does more say efficient, right? it's, it's more powerful, powerful when it yeah. runs off of the diesel. Diesel, the electric can only give it so much and it's been really cold so and we've been running off the diesel the first night you were worried you like woke up in the middle of the night like oh i wonder how much gas we have left because we were getting a little low we were under half a tank yeah. on the thing and i didn't and think it, it was going to kill a half a tank but i just was curious barely touched it never changed the gas gauge yeah overnight so and then i also learned after that by reading more which i probably should have done ahead of time <laughs> that like once the gas tank gets low enough it will shut off the the gas uh, heater in the coach as well so it's not going to empty your tank randomly if you left that heat running which is a great thing to know it is yeah so um what else so the heat's been great the heat's been great and with the tank heaters on again i was kind of curious like how much electric is that going to take plus the heater running all night so Overnight last night, it went down into the 20s. Yep. We had the heater running. I think we had it heater. set around 65, 66 for overnight because we got some nice blankets. We don't need to keep yeah. it hot in here. And then fridge running as well, of fridge course. Fridge running all well. And then, and then we woke up and it was 89% yeah. of battery. Which so like... for us, it's still like shocking when we wake up with that much battery. Yeah. Um, and we had cooked last night. Um, yes. Dinner. After we got, after we parked. So, you know, we were driving for about an hour and a half. So that fully charged it. So when we parked, we were at 100%. Yeah. But then we did do some cooking and uh, just using other electronic stuff in here. Watching right. TV last night. Yeah. Use like the that, TV, so. charge our laptops up or, can, or phones or whatever. Anyway, it's pretty impressive. It's just like we said in our previous videos. It's just like living in a home. Like we don't even think about the power. You just, yeah. And now we know. And now we know. Same thing with the heat. Right. And exactly. And now we know based off these numbers and three full days, we could probably get up to a week. Yes. Um, just 
off the grid without any resources, without having to fill or yes, I would um, agree. Dump the, unless we were doing like major. <laughs> yeah. So the past um, couple of days, it's been really cold. Emily loves the cold. No, she doesn't. Hate it. She hates the cold. Uh, so we haven't been that active, and we're, so we're talking like a couple of small hikes a, a day. day. Um, really short, not taking a lot of water out, and not we're very not, strenuous. Yeah, we're not getting exhausted and drinking a lot. It's not been hot. When we're in hotter climates, though, we are more active, more out on the bikes, longer yeah. hikes. We're drinking a lot more, and so I that think that might drain the tanks faster. We've in terms been noticing of... our fresh water tank goes down faster when we're yeah. in hot climates versus like a little bit more mellow stuff in the cold. So. You know, six to seven days is what we're guessing on um, a full tank and not connected to anything, which is awesome. Which is, yeah, which is great. And I don't foresee us being out without going to have to get gas or yeah, whatever. exactly. And having to dump or fill up anyway. Yep. And yeah. So it's been working perfect. We love it. It fits our life exactly the way we wanted. And we're able to cook and do everything. We everything. We're able to do everything. We're able to watch TV and... Yeah. I mean, it's all... It's all great. We love this thing. So if you have any questions about the terrain of Wyon, about Gretsch, about boondocking, dry, yeah. dry camping, whatever you may call it. There's like a million names for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you just know, let us feel know. Feel free. Head in the comments. You know, we'll answer there or we'll do another video to answer it. Yeah, sure. Thanks for watching, everybody.